wasiwasi kuhusu mfumo wa ufadhili wa elimu ya vyuo vikuu ambao unawaweka wanafunzi katika makundi kwa kutegemea hali yao ya kiuchumi na msaada wanaostahiki akizungumza wakati wa mkutano huo Rais Ruto alisisitiza kuwa mfumo huo unalenga kuwasaidia wanafunzi wenye mahitaji zaidi huku akiungama na matatizo ya wanafunzi kupangwa katika makundi yasiyo sahihi Haidha amewataka wanafunzi walioathirika kuwasilisha rufaa you are capable of facilitating and capacitating the reconstruction of this new funding model to be worth for us please do thank you the amount that we are funding our universities from an average of 45 billion shillings every year to 82 billion shillings every year that is the quantum of additional resources we are making available both for help, for scholarships that go to our universities. The biggest challenge that universities had was that they had inadequate funds because the government promised that they would sponsor students, both loan and scholarship up to 80%. but they didn't meet their end of the bargain. We, in this model, we have said we cannot provide for scholarship. It's because in the past, we said we are going to give them scholarship. And because we didn't have the money, we didn't. And we put many of those private universities in a lot of trouble. So I think the position should be until we are sure of an income, and we have many ways of finding out an income, whether they are doing a good business, we can collect a lot of information from Kerry and all the other agencies, Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. And I will encourage those of us who took a loan from the university, if you can afford to pay, please let us pay. Mzamaji mbunge wa Kimilili Didmas Barasa amewataka viongozi wa miungano